So starting with the name of Almighty Allah, in this video we'll try to learn about how we can calculate the uh, hydraulic conductivity of coarse grain soil using constant head permeability test. So we have discussed the details of constant head permeability test in our previous video. You can watch that video for more detailed purpose. But in this video, we'll try to learn that how we can formulate an Excel sheet for the calculation of hydraulic conductivity of coarse grain soil. Remember, constant head permeability test is used to find out the permeability of coarse grain soil. And to find out the permeability of cohesive soils, we need to perform falling head test. So in this video, we'll try to learn the Excel sheet formation of constant head permeability test. So let's start and uh, the, the procedure using an example. So firstly, we'll discuss about the input values. We need to have the dia of specimen and the length of the specimen. So uh, which specimen I'm talking about is, for that purpose, you need to visit my channel and you can watch my previous video of constant head permeability test and you will get to know the more detail of this test. So here I'll be explaining the uh, calculations only. So we have dia of specimen, we have length of specimen, then we need to determine the cross-sectional area, volume of the mold, and then we need to record the temperature of the water. Uh, usually the test has been standardized at 20 degrees Celsius temperature. So if the temperature of the water varies from 20 degrees Celsius, then we need per, then we need then we need to apply the correction that is called temperature correction. So if the test has been performed at 20 degrees Celsius, then the temperature correction will be one. Otherwise we need to perform the otherwise we need to apply the temperature correction and the temperature correction uh, are given over there. You can find these temperature corrections in internet as well from any reference or ASTM standard as well. So here we will try to solve this example and then I will be uh, elaborating the procedure that how we can formulate all the, uh, all the procedure in Excel sheet. So let's try to develop an Excel sheet and uh, to verify the ex uh, Excel sheet, we'll, uh, we'll use this example. So here you can see, refer to the constant head permeability test arrangement shown in A test gives these values. Length is 30 centimeter, area is 177 centimeter square. It means the dia is 15 centimeter. Usually it's half of the length of the specimen. Then the constant head difference is given 50 centimeter. So this uh, head is constant. So usually uh, you note down two values, head difference, H1 and H2, and that head difference is basically constant. So here the head difference is given. You may record H1 and H2, then H will be the difference of these H1 and H2 values. Then water collected in a period of five minutes is 350 cubic centimeters. So this value is discharge basically. So you need to calculate the hydraulic conductivity and we know that the formula to calculate the hydraulic conductivity of coarse grain soil is K is equal to QLA into H into T. H is head difference, A is the cross-sectional area, T is the time, L is the length of the specimen and Q is the discharge. So let's try to develop the Excel sheet. So firstly, I, I uh, described the input value, values, dia of specimen is 15 centimeter and the length of the specimen is 30 centimeters. So you need to calculate the cross-sectional area. So cross-sectional area can be calculated uses, using the formula 3.14 into d squared by 4, means pi d squared by 4. So I'll be applying the formula 3.1415, it's a pi basically, multiply dia of the specimen, then again multiply by dia of specimen divided by 4. 
okay yes so you can see here it's almost 177 centimeters square okay if you want to convert this value into the superscript you need to form uh, apply the command of format cells and then you need to apply this checkbox superscript okay centimeter square now you need to find out the volume of the mold and the volume of the mold can be found out by multiplying area with the length of the specimen so here we have found out the volume that is in cubic centimeter again you need to convert this value to superscript okay so you have found out the uh, volume of the mold so let's assume let's assume the temperature is 20 degrees celsius for this uh, test then the temperature correction for 20 degrees celsius you can see here is one temperature correction factor is one now for the trial one okay so for the trial one in this uh, example we are given the head difference 50 so i'll directly note down the head difference value but if you note down h1 and h2 let's assume h1 is 270 and the h2 value is 220 then the head difference will be 50 h1 minus h2 so 50 centimeter is the head difference and then the time in second here the time is given in minutes so time is given in minutes that is 5 so I'll be multiplying 5 by 60 to convert it into seconds so we have 300 seconds basically now discharge value is 350 cubic centimeter here the value of discharge is given now you need to find out the k value so as we know that the formula of k is q l over a h t so i'll be applying the formula bracket a bracket q multiply by length so length is 30 centimeter bracket close divided by this a h into t so we have cross sectional area multiply by head difference this into t time in seconds so here we go so this is what uh, this is how we can find out the hydraulic conductivity and the value of hydraulic conductivity comes out to be 0 0.003961 centimeter per second so you can see here 3.95 into 10 raised to power 3 value now if you want to convert this value into the scientific units so you can go here and uh, here for the numbers are uh, scientific okay Okay, so you can see here the value has been converted to into these units. So now, uh, if you want to convert your value uh, uh, into by applying the correction factor, so k20 can be found out by multiplying this value by correction factor. So in this example, we have uh, the correction factor value one, so it will not make any change here so this is how we can find out the uh, hydraulic conductivity of coarse grain soil so this is how we can uh, formulate the excel sheet of hydraulic conductivity so here you might expect 
an error in this book it will be 10 raised to power minus 3 basically anyhow so i hope uh, this video will be helpful for you if you like the video don't forget to subscribe share and uh, allah hafiz